What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Sunday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralta. You guys can follow me across all my socials at Sports Talk Matt. And this podcast being brought to you by our friend at DraftKings. I stayed up late to watch that Miami come from behind victory. We needed that. Miami win total. We're on that today or this season. Iowa State's win total over seven and a half. They're five and oh, that's going well. Some of our college football futures are looking pretty good. But Miami, man, come all the way back. 39-38. We get that win. Texas Tech plus six and a half. That was the play on the betting pros app that I put out. That cashed as Texas Tech won the game outright. And a pretty good day. The first half bets were awful, but everything else went pretty well. Air Force got two bets right on that. If you're not in the Discord channel, you did not get the Navy under 41 and a half middle that I hit. We hit both bets officially. Navy and Air Force over 37 and Navy and Air Force under 41 and a half. Okie State and West Virginia under 64 and a half. Texas Tech plus six and a half. That does come in. So four and three day officially up 0.6 units for us. So that is three consecutive winning days for us with Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as we head towards a Sunday. And as long as we don't completely fall on our face today, we'll have a winning week for us here with the Daily Juice podcast. Remember today, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, live stream with myself. Andrew Erickson will join me as we'll go through every game, all of the games on the NFL docket for today early games, late games. I'll give you the Wong teaser, which is 0-4, by the way. About time we get going with that. Wong teaser's 0-4. Let's see if we can get a win for that. We do that within 30 minutes of kickoff for that six-point teaser. I have got the player props for you, four of them to give you on the podcast, On the, sorry, on the live stream tomorrow that will be official plays on the podcast. So looking forward to all of that coming up here later today at noon Eastern time on the betting pros YouTube channel, 9 a.m. Pacific time for the week five NFL live stream with myself and Andrew Erickson. Okay. Before I give you the plays coming up here today, let me tell you about our friends at DraftKings. All right, guys, have you gone and downloaded the pick six app yet? If you haven't, you should download it. Use the code JUICE, that's code JUICE, for new Pick 6 customers. Play $5 to get $50 in Pick 6 credits. That's guaranteed. Gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-777 or visit ccpg.org in Connecticut. Must be 18 plus. Age and eligibility restrictions may be may vary by jurisdiction. Pick 6 not available everywhere, including New York and Ontario. Void where prohibited. See terms at pick 6 draftkings com slash promos okay before i give you the picks let me tell you who won or who is leading our contest this is fun okay the accuracy challenge if you haven't gone and been a part of this every month we do this you place a minimum of 20 bets in the month the bets can cover all sports and all bet types top three in ROI get prizes. The content resets, contest resets every single month. So here we are in the first week of August. Contest resets, track all your bets for free in the Betting Pros app. So September winners are the following. Okay, here has one September. I thought we were doing October, sorry. Here's who won in September. Number one, Big Mike Augustine. You won. You get a year of Betting Pros Premium. Congratulations. Plus 25 bucks to go into the Betting Pros store. That's bettingpros.com slash shop. Uh, BHuck44, you came in second place on the ROI Accuracy Challenge. You get a $25 gift card to the Betting Pros store. And third place is Zeno Bound to Lose. You came in third as well for the month of September in the Betting Pros Accuracy Challenge. You'll get a reach out from one of our ambassadors to get you set up so you can go ahead and go and use that and take care of the $25 gift card uh, gifts to get to the betting pros application at bettingpros.com slash shops. Congratulations to the three of you guys coming in first, second and third place prizes for the month of September contest is currently underway right now. As I mentioned, you guys, it's easy to get into this. If you want to be a part of this and become part of it, you guys can do so log on to betting pros, get the betting pros app, 
on the App Store and be a part of this, the Betting Pros Accuracy Challenge. Okay, let's start with today. So there's kind of a big disagreement about what's going to happen here with the Ravens and the Bengals, and I am a big fan of the Ravens this year. We have the, the bet on the Ravens to win the Super Bowl. I just think there's something up with Joe Burrow. I think there's up with something here. I'm just not believing in this team who's 1-3 in three on the year, 0-2 on the road, and or sorry, 0-2 at home, rather, and you've got a 1-1 one one Ravens team on the road, 2-2 two two overall, but they lost their first two games. They've already stubbed their toe. Ravens losing to the Chiefs on the road, the Raiders at home. They beat the Cowboys on the road. They beat the Bills at home, and now they got a chance to beat the Bengals. The Bengals got their first win of the year against Carolina, 34-24, but they didn't look great doing it, in my opinion. They lost to the Chiefs. They lost to the Patriots. They lost to the Commanders. I think this is going to be kind of a rough year for this team. I I don't like what I've seen. I'm not a big Zach Taylor guy. I laid two and a half. Ravens minus two and a half for 1.1 units on the road. I think Lamar Jackson has a big game here today. I think they run the football really effectively. And this team, the Ravens, could wind up getting a huge addition in the next week or two if they can go find DeAndre Hopkins. Sorry, um, could go get Devontae Adams out of the Raiders. Get him to join this team. Could be even greater for them to jump in, but I like the two and a half. Ravens minus two and a half. I know people who like the Bengals plus two and a half, plus three. I'm going to lay the two and a half with the Ravens for 1.1 units. Now, bet number two for us, you may go, what the heck is wrong with you? Speaking of the Raiders, I think the Raiders can win the game against the Broncos. The Broncos, I don't want to say they're fat and happy, okay? But the Broncos are coming off of two gigantic wins on the road. At Tampa, we were on them. At the Jets, we were on them. Now I'm going to fade them. Now I'm taking the three points with the Raiders. Raiders are already won in Baltimore. I don't like Garner Minshew, but he's better than Bo Nix right now. Bo Nix can't keep on winning games by throwing 60 yards in a whole game. Okay, I think the Raiders and Antonio Pierce will have a game plan here. Bo Nix is due to have a bad game. He's played really well the last two weeks. The defense has been really good. I don't mind to play on the under. It's 35 and a half. But that takes me to under in the dog. And at three in a divisional game in which, look, the Raiders, I bet under on their wins. I don't want them to win this game. So maybe the Broncos can win by one or two. But at three... I'm taking the Raiders. I, I think the Las Vegas Raiders will have the ability to move the football here well enough. And I just think the offense is due to turn the football over here. I think Bo Nix could have a really rough game here against the Raiders, and that could lead them to a victory here. I think turnovers and penalties and mistakes are what Denver comes up with here in Week 5. Raiders plus 3 for 1.1 units. Bet number 3. I have two total bets that I like. Look, I think it's going to be fun today to watch these games. Ravens minus two and a half Raiders plus three. Let's talk bills in the Texans total is 47. Okay. I don't really know who wins this game. I just think it's going to be a close game. Three and one Buffalo three and one Houston. The game so far, the bills have scored 34, 31, 47, and then 10 against the Ravens last week. But three of the four games they've, come near, like they've scored over 30 points. The Texans have scored 29, 19, 7, and 24. The 7 on the road got whipped by Minnesota. I think both teams are scoring 40. Sorry, 20. Sorry, 20 to get to 40. So that means I just need one more touchdown and or extra point, two-point conversion to go over 47. Both teams get 20. Team... Get one more touchdown on that. Either side, 27-20, it's, it's a 47 total. I think we go over. I think we're seeing offense here. I think both teams score in the mid-20s. I don't like either defense to really shut down either other offense with the quarterback play that we're going to see in this game. I'm thinking the Bills and the Texans, we're going over 47 for 1.1 units. Then the Packers on the road. The Packers needing a bounce back after their loss to the Vikings, 31-29. Looked prettier than it was, but 31-29, 30-14, 16-10, and 34-29. Three of the four games, 
for the Packers have gone over. And I think we're going to see another game in which the Packers offense can do some things and put up some big numbers. Jordan Love back. I, I think this is a chance to see offense. The Rams, I think, will score, though. I mean, the, look, the, the defense for the Packers hasn't been great. They're giving up 31, 14, 10, and 29 points. The Rams, I think, can score. The Rams, even with all their injuries, you still had Matthew Stafford. Rams have scored 18, 27, 10, and 20 points so far. We get 20 points out of the Rams. Uh, look, I think the Packers winning cover. I do. But I'm a little I'm worried about that Packer defense. I don't love that Packer defense. Instead, I'm just going to play the over. Over 48 uh, and a half for the Packers and the Rams. Over 48 and a half for 1.1 units. And the teaser, I'm taking the Bills up from, uh, from one and a half up to seven and a half. I'm taking the Cowboys from two and a half up to eight and a half on their Sunday night game up against the Steelers. I don't think Pittsburgh can beat anybody by more than seven points. Even the Cowboys. You know, even the Cowboys. I'm taking Cowboys up, up there to minus 120 to go with the two lake teaser. As mentioned, the props will be official and they'll be on the live stream starting at noon Eastern time coming up here today for us on a Sunday. Okay, so to recap the plays, Ravens minus two and a half for 1.1 units. Raiders plus three for 1.1 units. Bills and the Texans over 47 for 1.1 units. Packers and the Rams over 48 and a half for 1.1 units. Bills plus seven and a half. Tees with the Cowboys plus eight and a half. At minus 120, 1.2 units down on that. And the props we found on a live stream coming up at noon Eastern time for us for that. I will talk to you on the live stream coming up later today with Andrew Erickson. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt. Every morning, it's the Daily Juice Podcast presented by DraftKings.